Soldiers, welcome to the Military Weapon Conference. Today's topic is AK-117 a fast assault rifle that was a top tier weapon for several seasons. There's no update for this weapon recently. So after the new weapon balance update, as well as the emerging of many new weapons, is AK-117 still one of the meta in this game? Without further ado, let's find it out. AK-117 has a great fire rate with low recoil penalty, which allows it to beam enemies at close to mid-range. Back in Season 9, its hit fire and recoil got a huge nerf. However, its damage received a buff in Season 12, strengthening its combat ability at the mid-range. In the recent update, weapon balance is applied to almost every single weapon except for AK-117. The weapon stats and damage range remain the same as it was in Season 12. With that being said, AK-117 as the former meta, how's it perform among the other popular weapons? Well, let me show you the weapon stats first. AK-117 is a fast weapon. It has the second highest fire rate among all assault rifles, just a little bit slower than Type 25. By default, it has 30 bullets in the magazine with a fire rate of 766 rounds per minute. The quick reload time of the weapon is 1.8 seconds, and the full reload time is 2.9 seconds, which is below the average. Its ADS speed is 284 milliseconds, which is about the average of assault rifles. The movement speed is 6.4 meters per second, and the ADS movement speed is 3.1 meters per second, which is the same as CR-56. Back in the old days, the AK-117 has low recoil, high damage, and almost no hip fire spread which makes it the best AR in the game. After a few nerfs and buffs, this weapon has become a balanced AR but still, there are many players fancy using it. Now let's take a look at the damage and range of this weapon, to see how it performs in terms of time to kill in different ranges. AK-117 is a high fire rate assault rifle with less damage, its TTK drops significantly along with the range. This means AK-117 is only effective in close to mid-range, if without any range boost attachment. It deals 25 damage up to 4 meters, 22 damage from 5 to 21 meters, 19 damage from 22 to 36 meters, and 15 damage beyond that. The weapon has three body multipliers, a headshot deals 1.3 times normal damage, and an upper body shot deals 1.1 times normal damage. It can only four shots to kill within five meters, it is like the AR version of Fennec. In MP, its TTK is very average, except for the super close range. There are better options for assault rifles, that beat AK-117 in any ways, in BR it's a different story. Due to the damage reduction from the vest, weapon damage is not consistent in BR, it has one floating damage in all ranges. Even though there is damage reduction, the TTK of AK-117 is still quite impressive up to 21 meters. However, the damage range of AK-117 isn't as good as other popular weapons in BR, such as AK-47 and Man O' War. It is effective in close to mid-range combat, and can be used in longer range as well, only if we equip the range attachments. To rank this weapon, it has good damage and accuracy, with great weapon mobility. It is worth mentioning, the recoil pattern of AK-117 is very unique. It is completely random each time, it can go up then to the left, or to the right. So it is hard to master the recoil control of this weapon, as the recoil is unpredictable. It's clearly not the meta of this game anymore, but it's still a powerful weapon in close range combat. Now, let me show you the best loadout of this weapon for both MP and BR. In MP games, weapon mobility is very important, it determines how fast you can kill. Normally we will try to improve the ADS speed of a weapon, but for AK-117 it's different, as it's super aggressive in close range. We will use it as an SMG most of the time, so we will focus on improving the hip fire accuracy instead. By using the light flash guard, Merc foregrip, and the MIP laser, the hip fire accuracy is boosted by 36%. To boost the weapon mobility, we will use the no stock and stippled grip tape. These two attachments will make AK-117 much faster, in terms of movement and sprint to fire delay. This is the best hip fire build, let's see how it performs against the default AK-117.
First of all, let's test the hip fire accuracy. The hip fire accuracy of the default AK117 is not bad. With this build, the hip fire accuracy is improved significantly, which is as good as the SMGs. The AK117 has a very good DDK and close range. With good hip fire accuracy, it can smash the enemy in the face. Before we going forward, let's take a break here. Please do consider subscribing to this channel with the notification on. I've developed a Call of Duty mobile companion app, including everything you need to know about this game. The app is completely free to use. I'll put the download links in the description. Next, let's compare the recoil patterns. Since we focus on hip fire with this build, there is not much improvement in the bullet spread accuracy. Even though the recoil of AK-117 is completely random, it is mostly vertical, and it doesn't bounce a lot, so it is not too bad in terms of recoil control. To sum up, this is the best hip fire build, that provides the best hip fire accuracy and better weapon mobility. It is designed for close to mid range combat, and can melt the enemy with hip fire within 5 meters. Now let's move on to the BR build. In BR games, the weapon damage range is always our first concern. Since the default damage range of AK-117 wasn't very good, we will have to use all the range attachments to improve it. The monolithic suppressor and the marksman barrel, together they can increase the damage range by 60%. However, the downside is also severe, there is a huge impact on mobility. Next, we choose the steady stock for its flinch stability and horizontal recoil improvement. To finish up the build, we will add the tactical laser and granulated grip tape to improve the weapon's accuracy. One thing to notice here, we didn't add the extended mag for this build, so it's highly recommended to equip a mag mod in BR. This is a max range BR build, let's see how it performs against the default AK-117. First of all, let's test the ADS speed. We trade weapon mobility for better range and accuracy in this build, so ADS speed is 2 frames slower than the default. It is not too bad in BR though, and we should try to use hip fire as well in close range. Soldiers, it's time to get your shit together, and start training. Click the link in description to join our battlefield in Discord, let's grow together. Next. Let's compare the recoil patterns. As you can see, the bullet spread accuracy is significantly improved with this build. We notice a slight improvement in horizontal recoil as well, which will help us with better control of the weapon. This can help us to eliminate our enemies in a longer range. The AK-117 is available as uncommon and epic blueprints on the floor, and can be found from the airdrops as a custom weapon. To sum up, this is a maximum range build, specially designed for BR. It improves the damage range, and provides better accuracy and control of the weapon, at the cost of weapon mobility. Overall, AK-117 is still one of my favorite weapons in BR, even though it has been overcome by many new weapons. Soldiers, our session ends here today. Hope you enjoy the weapon discussion and different loadouts that I presented in this video. And if you did, please do leave a like, and comments below. Subscribe with notification on, so you won't miss out on my future tips and tricks videos. Share this video for supporting this channel, and for appreciating my hard work. I will see you again in our next mission, until then, stay safe, peace out.